we've we, we've lost a lot of the elements of of, of focus that are that, that are really important and it's hard to uh, you know capture what is the real spirit of the, the meaning of this time of year but it, but it's also crazy because it, it, it's out there this whole concept of birth and new opportunity and challenge and it, it's all out there but we, people are so distracted by getting everything done and Christmas and Christmas presents and office organization and parties and targets and for businesses it's the end of the fourth quarter and you've got to do four weeks work and three weeks and you've got to achieve all your targets if you want to get your bonuses at the end of the year and ah oh, it's it, it's it's madness a lot of the time and uh, um, I, also, I, I feel that a lot of the way through the year I get pulled in so many different directions and I try to get December as a way of slowing down and getting focus and actually looking at spiritual elements and religious elements and remembering that that there are reasons, there are very clear reasons how we got this far as a society, how we got this far in the world. And a lot of them are through the fundamental values that are brought within religions or through religions, whatever the religion is to people. And these things are very, very, very important. And it's, it, it's something that unless people are from a very religious family, that, that it kind of gets lost at this time mm -hmm. of year and uh, I think it's a good opportunity to focus on those those elements that that are that are important and uh, not just see it as uh, celebration party time although that's important as mm -hmm. well that shows you the power of culture right mm, where, absolutely. where people still follow the traditions even though they're completely mad like people will be singing songs about snow falling and it's the middle of summer summer right? it, it, <laughs> yeah it, it, you know, it would be more relevant to sing Christmas on the beach or I don't know the but what a great example it's just a great example of the madness of everything Right? People mm -hmm. will people will do anything. And people are so. It's what I said about pe earlier about people being easily persuaded, easily led to do things. It's madness to be doing a lot of these things in in summer in in the way that the West does it, exporting its culture and staying sort of within the box of of the culture. It. And if you take that as a microcosm of how everything is, mm -hmm. and you 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 get an opportunity to see that, as quite a few people do, especially if they're from that part of the world, the southern hemisphere, that they they realize that the 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 culture cult is a good word because you know the word culture comes from cult, and mm -hmm. you know cult is a group of people performing a series of habits that basically are, are mad basically it's just mad it's mad all, all, all you know the basis of most cultures is some element of madness or some attempt to control things or or control people so uh, I I don't know how my, my my brain would have big problems with like Christmas in summer, uh, uh, but it, but it's a it's a good thing for the brain to go through it because you realize just how well trained we are. You know, as I talked about Maslow's hierarchy of needs and 
you know, like Pavlov's experiments as well. You know, we're we're, we're trained like uh -huh. like animals to respond in certain ways to certain things. Yeah. Um, you know, people sh sh show certain people pictures of certain politicians and, you know, they start screaming and shouting and they, they, they lose their minds. I mean, people are just, I don't, I don't know, they're, they're, they're trained in that emotional way a lot of the time and they, they don't have a lot of the self-control that is, uh, that is necessary. But, um, um, it's, it's, it's interesting, especially if you're away from your family as well. And uh, like your family's in one part of the world and uh, uh -huh. you're, you're somewhere else. And one element of Christmas for a lot of people is, you know, a time of... Being having, together, family together. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, family being together. But that means different things to different people at different times. You know, I had my... Christmas is like that when I was out in Slovakia, right? Where uh, it was just uh, me and my friend having a beer on Christmas Day, right? <laughs> and uh, but that's that, that's the way that it works sometimes. It's just it's the way that it works. And then you appreciate, and then you appreciate the other things more because you you, you don't you don't have them, right? So you, you mm -hmm. really do appreciate that more when you, the things that we have in our hand, we very rarely appreciate what those are. We very rarely appreciate what, what it is. Um, we tend to get frustrated with things more than we are grateful for, uh, uh -huh. for having, hey, my phone doesn't work. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's there's just... only so little people. So, so small amount, number of people who can really appreciate Mm -hmm. what they have at the time when they have it. 